Hello guys, welcome back to Coffee Gaming. Today I'll be explaining how to make a mouse cursor changing script. As always, the model will be in the description to purchase for free, and feel free to comment ideas on what I should create a tutorial about next. In Starter GUI, we need to create a local script. Okay, next we'll need a number value. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name my repeat value. Repeat value. There we go. Now in the script, it's as simple as this. Local mouse equal the game dot players dot local player get mouse. Then mouse dot icon is equal to Roblox asset ID. Next, we type wait 0.1. Now we need to set up another variable. Repeat value is equal to script dot repeat value dot value. So now, repeat value is equal to repeat value minus one. And this should repeat until repeat value is equal to zero. Oh no. Oops. So you might be thinking, what is going on here? For starters, all you would need is just this and this. But I've added this and this part in because after the Roblox update where the cursor changed, when you were to make one of these scripts, the mouse just would not change. For some reason, it would work half the time. I've come up with this clever, but also very janky way of making sure you can give the people who play your game a custom mouse that doesn't break. So now I'm going to go through and explain what each part does, starting from the top. This here just tells the script where your number value is. So whatever you named this, it would have to be script dot whatever you named it dot value. If I was to change the name to that, then it would be script dot this dot value. So you can name your variable whatever you want. You just have to change it here, here, and here. Let's actually raise these up. So this right here, local mouse equals game.players.localplayer get mouse. This just gets the local player's mouse. This here just changes the mouse icon. You can set this to whatever decal you want. This here is a really simple but inefficient way of making a cooldown when you're repeating. In Roblox, when you have some sort of event or a script that's going too fast for the game to process, it'll just cut off the script and the script will just skip the entire instruction. There's definitely better ways of making this, but this is just a simple way to make a script that works. Next, the repeat value just gets subtracted by one each time so that when it reaches zero, its job will be done. The end. When you go to make your mouse, there are many ways you could go about doing this, but the proper way is to either search on Google for the Roblox mouse texture or actually go inside of the app. So what you're supposed to do is you go into the app. This goes for Windows as well. Next, you go look for the content folder and inside of that, you'll find a folder called textures. Next, you'll have to scroll down to cursors and then enter keyword mouse. And there is your cursor. This is what you'll need to change in order for the script to work. Because if you were to use a really high quality image that is not 64 by 64 pixels, you'll end up having something like this, which it's not good. You can see you have this problem now. Yeah, don't do that. So yeah. Design, create, cursor, and whatever app you'd like. Just make sure that it's layered on top of here. It's, just make sure that it's in this corner, because if it is not, then it will end up like this. That's not supposed to happen. So just take your mouse and draw over it, and when you are done, you just hide the mouse, and there you go. Upload it as a decal. Now in studio, go to inventory, my images. Now here in properties, take the texture ID, this little ID here, you need this. You can remove this now and replace whatever it was with your ID. And now you're done. You did it. You now have a custom mouse. Whoa, look at it. Look at it, it's so nice. Hope you guys like that tutorial on how to make a custom mouse. Feel free to comment any ideas you have. 
If you like this video, then like it. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm Coffee Gaming. See you next time.